I wanted to go over the way that I prepare food for long hikes um, and I want to discuss a little bit if normally if I'm doing a hike that is say less than five days I dehydrate my own meals and package them up and that's what I use um, when I'm doing longer hikes though I usually switch over to freeze-dried meals which normally um, weigh less um, but maybe aren't as nutritious and so what I wanted to go over is um, the way that I actually package them up the way that I actually buy them in bulk and uh, then the way that I add more protein to them so what I've got here is um, I bought Mountain House and because I want a variety I bought three different kinds in the 10 pound cans uh, Pasta Primavera beef stroganoff with noodles and chili mac with beef let's look at the uh, pasta primavera it has a one cup serving size and there's usually um, these 10 pound cans usually have between 10 and 11 servings per can so in a one cup serving size pasta primavera is 220 calories it is uh, 6 grams of fat, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 570 milligrams of sodium, 33 grams of carbs, and 8 grams of protein. And if you know anything about hiking, um, most hikers will usually burn somewhere between 2 and 12,000 calories per day of hiking. So you would have to eat a lot of this, like a whole entire can would only be 2,200 calories. Um, but what I do is I add snacks and things. Um, but for these meals in particular, I do measure them out in one cup servings. And then I have wheat protein, vanilla, and chocolate. And basically I add one scoop of wheat protein to that one cup serving. And just by doing that, I now have increased the calories from 220 to 430. And when you do that one scoop in every meal throughout the day, um, that adds quite a bit of calories and a lot of protein. And the reason why that you need a lot of protein when you're on the trail is basically to keep your body from eat, eating the muscles after it runs out of fat. So protein is used to rebuild muscles that are broken down through exercise, uh, weightlifting, hiking, etc. And uh, it also, if you have enough protein on the trails, you'll have less muscle soreness too. So every single meal that I eat um, gets we protein added to it and you're probably wondering how do I determine whether or not it gets vanilla or chocolate and I've kind of come up with this system it works for me truthfully you're usually so hungry on the trail you don't care what it tastes like but this is what I do bring this up here so you can see it pasta primavera it's basically a white sauce right so it gets vanilla You look at say beef stroganoff with noodles as you can see it is mostly white it gets vanilla chili mac with beef as you can see it is not white it gets chocolate or chili mac with beef and chocolate wheat protein is actually really good. Another thing that I do is I buy bulk uh, food saver bags off of Amazon Prime. I get the one quart size. And let's see, it pulls up here so you can see it. One quart size. And it, it has enough space to where I can add a meal to it seal it and sometimes I can get um, two two meals sometimes three 
out of one bag. So it comes sealed on three sides. You basically add the meal. You cut it off, leaving just enough excess to reseal it again. And then you reseal it at the bottom and do it again until you've gotten two or three uh, meals out of one bag. And just to kind of show you, the pasta primavera, there's not really an easy way to do this. You can try to dump it. I usually use a spoon. You'll find that some settling has occurred. You usually have to get it mixed up a little better. Just dump it in there. You get close to a cup, which that's pretty close to a cup. Add that to your bag. By the way, this is the exact same size. Uh, one cup serving is what is in like the Pro Packs and also the little small mountain house uh, hiking packs. So you get one cup of food is what those have in them too. Okay, once I get the food in there, then we do the wheat protein. Sorry I didn't have these open ahead of time. Alright, so then we add one scoop of wheat protein. That just added 30 grams of protein to a meal that only had 8 grams of protein in it to begin with. And as you can see, the bag is a quarter full. So basically what we'll do is we'll cut it somewhere up here and leave enough to reseal it and then we might be able to get uh, definitely at least one maybe two more meals in this one bag. The easiest way to cut these, I lay it on the countertop, get it close to the edge, kind of line it up, fold it over and then I just use scissors and kind of follow and that keeps it somewhat straight. Probably straighter than if you did it freehand. Once you get that part done, go over to your food saver and seal it just like you would any other. So after, once you do the vacuum and seal the first time, the second time you only need to do the seal. And I'll bring this up here so you can see that. Now you have your own version of your Mountain House Pro Pack. Now, I have done these and I always consume them within a couple of weeks. Um, one time I actually, just to see if it would still be good, I left it for about a year and ate what was in there and it tasted fine. So your mileage may vary. There's no oxygen in there so it would be really hard for anything to, uh, anything to spoil. There's no way for moisture to get into it and it's compressed 
as hard as a brick. Um, these are sized to fit into my cozy. If you've not seen that video, you should probably watch it. So once I get it done, the last thing to do is I put the name and marker on the outside of the bag. Pasta Primavera. And I put the date, just the month and the year, September 2016. And then once I have that done, the final step is I can actually trim off this little bit at the top. Uh, can you see where it actually, it's kind of hard to. You can kind of see the two seals. So just above that, because I want to be as light as possible on the trail, I trim off that little bit of excess, which isn't going to save me a lot of weight, but when you do this 20 or 40 times, then it's every little bit adds up. We do the same thing over and over and over again. And I'm not going to force you to watch it. The next thing that I'm going to show you though is I am going to show you how to make my breakfast so st stay tuned and we'll do that shortly.